Almost one year after the Louisa earthquake, the North Anna power plant opens its doors to the media and shows us what's changed over the course of a year to make the plant and the people who live near it safer. Jessica Jagloys was there and reports from Louisa County. This piece of equipment is new to the North Anna power plant. What it is is a seismic monitor and it measures an earthquake should one ever happen again. 1.51 p.m. August 23rd, 2011. The North Anna Power Plant shuts down after a 5.8 magnitude earthquake hits outside of Mineral. We have a trip, reactor trip. This simulation shows what happened when the earthquake struck and how operators acted quickly. But according to Dominion, it's the work that was done before the earthquake that kept the plant safe. Employees were trained and the plant was built to endure the seismic shift. The preparation that we had done ahead of time for our staff, for our response, uh, and in, in, in the design and maintenance of the, of the plant equipment paid dividends in that. Now we've learned a lot. Among those lessons Dominion has learned is to prepare for the unexpected. So Dominion has implemented new equipment and procedures to do just that. They say the number one thing is to keep the plant's fuel cool to avoid a meltdown. So that no matter what happens, we can keep the... Uh, that we can protect the reactor cores, that we can keep the fuel cool and protect, certainly protect the health and safety of the public. North Anna sustained no structural damage from the earthquake, but the Nuclear Regulatory Commission requires the plan install seismic monitors, follow new safety regulations, and perform regular inspections. The plants are very safe now. We're going to take them to an even higher level of safety. Dominion says so far it's fulfilled the NRC's milestone requirements. North Anna hopes to have all of their commitments fulfilled by the end of next year. Reporting in Louisa, Jessica Jagloys, NBC 12 News. And Dominion is preparing to build a third nuclear reactor at North Anna, but they're still waiting on a permit to start construction.